Thoughts are like light beams. The more concentrated, the more they illuminate. A focused mind can conceive and realize tremendous objectives. The power of concentration is given us the piano sonatas and discipline to practice them. Novels and the literacy to read. Consider all that Stephen Hawking grasped about the space-time continuum because he had so much uninterrupted time and space to study. If not for a rigorous brain, we still wouldn't know how to control fire or raise food, let alone come up with paella, the Sistine Chapel, and the quantum theory. But our attention span is becoming bite-sized with a lie. Industrial automation and electronic overstimulation have shattered the presence of mind. The very aspect separating us from those erratic squirrels were increasingly unable to ignore. A lack of mental stamina threatens everything of substantive worth. Because a fragmented thought process yields an incoherent conclusion, where a smashed mirror reflects a splintered face. Deep understanding, sustainable innovation, lasting relationships, the arts, justice, it all depends on patient perseverance. Multitasking is a euphemism for distraction. Eventually, by sabotage or exhausted resources, a whole-scale collapse of the digital infrastructure will force a lot of In the meantime, we might ready ourselves and maintain some synaptic tenacity by willfully disconnecting from the network, by safeguarding our precious time for slow, off-mind engagements like meditation, Wrong. Fishing. Building a deck. Reading a book. Writing one. Having face-to-face -face conversations. Just sitting with the stereo on, reflecting. Should this mass cognitive decline go on unchecked? Should we wait too long to reassemble our collective consciousness? Some crucial pieces may be forever lost.